Hey guys, Jason here, Hydris. Oh man, I got a brand new S1 stand-up paddleboard here. Uh, S1, sort of a play on the kayak world. C1 style kayaks or canoes were originally designed to be maybe a little bit more versatile, a little bit better at a few things than your normal sit on your butt canoe. Um, that's basically the design principles that went into this board, which is perfect. Also, we worked real closely with Barry Kennan, who happens to be a four-time world champion C1 kayaker, uh, who has also turned himself into a badass stand-up paddleboarder in this style uh, or discipline of riding. So don't let the simplicity or sexiness of this shape fool you. There's a lot that went into the design of this board. Uh, this board is designed to be really good at taking weight distribution uh, in order to sink your rail or your tail uh, in order to use the power of the water to maneuver your board. Starting at the beginning, the top, top end of this board, um, bow of this board. So you got a real wide front end, planing style hull, uh, parallel rails, parallel outline that is just maxes out um, stability as well as speed and a wide back end with clean release points for the water off the tail. Rockers really been honed to be not too much, but also not too little, maxing out stability, fitting into river rapids, and uh, maxing out that speed as well. So you've got our bungee tie downs, which if you're opposed to bungee tie downs, cut them off, I don't care. <laughs> uh, automatic uh, automatic Gore-Tex vent. Uh, you're, you've got your Hydra style handle here, which is by far and away the most comfortable handle to carry a board with, plus you can wrap your bike lock around there to secure it to a vehicle or a tree, which can be real convenient. Uh, stock traction pads come with our arch support, which just provides a lot of feel for back foot placement and your fancy footwork and jumping around on this board. That carries on into our stomp pad, leash plug in the back. If you're a front leash type of person, you can anchor in right there. Let me show you the rail and bottom of this board. So we're gonna offer this board in a few different sizes. This one here is 10.6 by 31 and a half inches wide, 215 liters, weighs 29 pounds. Every Armalite board is gonna have a slight variance in weight due to the way we build them. Boards at the heavier or higher end of that variance are just, they're gonna be more durable, which isn't a bad thing for rivers. Definitely want a board that will bounce off of rocks before it breaks, which is what Armalite's gonna give you. Um, as far as size, more so for this board than a lot of other styles of boards, if you have any questions concerning the right size board for you, make sure, get in touch with us and we can help you out. We wanna make sure that we fit you with the right board. Uh, and it's gonna depend on riding ability and more so weight of the rider. Concave or channel on this board does a few things. Recesses the fin. This board comes stock with a four and a half inch uh, river fin, gummy river fin. Uh, if you want something that tracks a little straighter, feel free to replace this with a higher surface area fin or a lower profile fin for real rocky areas. Uh, it also provides direction so you can get away with a smaller fin back here. Uh, also, it pushes the, it distributes the volume or floatiness of this board more out towards the rails or the edges of the board, uh, which aids in stability and second, uh, secondary stability of this board. So anyways, if you are interested in this riding style, which is a super fun riding style, and it's a style that's gonna progress, it's gonna continue to grow as more people in general get into river paddle boarding, and then as river paddle boarders progress their skills. Uh, this is a style of riding that is super fun, and you'll never outgrow. This is the board for you. Um, anyways, thanks for watching the video. Happy paddling, enjoy the water. Thanks, bye.